What's next? Okay, I want to talk uh, today something that really does bother me a lot. Um, and it's about what some people call a singular plural, which uh, to me is completely oxymoronic. Um, how can you have a singular plural? But this is uh, in an effort. And uh, I'm a feminist, you know, I've got three daughters. Um, but the point is, I'm also a grammarian. And um, I, I, again, I say I'm more of a, uh, a descriptive than a prescriptive uh, uh, grammarian. But the point is, though, you, you have to know these rules because uh, people on the other end of your uh, communications uh, will, will uh, be suspect of your thoughts if you don't phrase your thoughts in uh, well-turned uh, prose. Got it. So, so what really bothers me is uh, this um, effort among uh, the Me Too movement and the, the women's liberation movement. And again, I've got three daughters, I'm a feminist. But uh, I just I just hate it when this happens. When you get Wait, did you hear Grammar Dog? Yes, that dog is good. Believe it or not. <laughs> what do you need? He needs attention. Hold that thought. So, where were we? Talking Help about the, sing the oxymoronic singular so, plural. So singular plural, yes. So, okay, let me, so you- I'll give you, you an example. I'll give you an example of okay. now, nowadays. Uh, a, a person is walking down the street, comma, and they see someone, period. Yeah. So you've got two independent clauses joined by a coordinate yep. conjunction, okay? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, um, that would be perfectly acceptable to most people, not to me. It just, it just, uh, strikes me as completely and totally uh, wrong because A right. is a singular marker. It can only come before a singular noun. Person is a singular noun. People is a plural, right? So you got A, got it. person, is. Is is a singular verb. R is yep. a plural, right? So you've got Ready? A, a singular person is walking down the street, comma, and now you've got this modern feminist uh, grammarian uh, grammar saying um, they see someone. That's totally ridiculous. It's got to be either you can uh, use the he or she. A person is walking down the street, comma, and he or she sees someone, or you can repeat it. It's clunky. A person is walking. No, not at all. A person is walking down the street, and um, that person sees someone, or you could even substitute a synonym. That person is walking down the street, comma. And that individual sees someone. So all of that is, is completely logical and well taken. Here's the challenge is that George Bernard, so uh, the American Heritage has a usage note on this, right? Yeah. And he quotes, right. I, know. It, I know. You know, you probably have it memorized. Thackeray, yeah. a person can't help their birth. George Bernard Shaw, to do a person in means to kill them. Anne Morrow Lindbergh, when you love someone, you do not love them all the time. And so in the usage panel, as of 2015, it was, there was a really serious um, bifurcation division between the younger members of that American Heritage Dictionary usage panel and the older ones. And the younger ones, none of, in the end, it was a slim majority that went for the, the um, what was it, the singular plural in any context, but there was a majority. And then it would change based on the context. Right. And it's too much to kind of go into verbally. I'll maybe put some stuff up so we can take a look at it. Um, so that's the American heritage. But there, the Webster <laughs> side, for example, Webster now accepts it, the singular plural, as standard usage from their perspective. And I think it was Collins. I can't remember the third dictionary I looked at. So suffice it to say, um, there's some there's there's just there's some dispute there. And I do think that over time, the fact that English, the, the, the problem is the English language does not have a neutral, meaning not he or she, baked in over centuries, whatever it be, um, a neutral third person pronoun, right? There's no Z, like he, she, Z, he, she, V, or whatever it might be. Ooh, well, that was, there is. That was there, very, that was most There poetic. is, there is, there is. Okay. It's, a, it's called it. Yeah. But then the problem with it is, you know, if you're not, if you're talking about a person, a person, it's degrading, yeah. right? It sounds like you're objectifying. Know, but... They're an object, not a, a person. Even with a dog, like grammar dog, I call him a he because he's neutered. So I guess you could say he with quotes around it. But, you know, I wouldn't say the dog, it's, it's hungry. Although sometimes I do when grammar dog interrupts my grammar geezering, uh, I do get angry and I call him it. 
but but it's when I'm not happy with them, you know. So anyway, but so but but logically, no question, you're right on. It's silly. I mean, you've got a singular um, start to the sentence, if you will, and then okay. you go plural and what? Okay. You've got a singular. Um, well, it's an article, but obviously the article acts as an adjective, right? So the singular adjective a, a singular noun person, and a singular verb is. And then you come up because of this idea. Why can't it? Why don't you maybe say she sees someone he knows or something like that? You see what I mean? I just see why. Why can't you repeat the referent or use a synonym uh, yeah. rather than uh, than uh, use a plural uh, pronoun when you've got a singular article, an adjective, a singular uh, noun, and a singular. Uh, Verb does not make sense. It never will to me. No, it never. It doesn't make logical sense. I mean, you're, you're looking at a you're looking at a kludge. You're looking at, at, at linguistic duct tape that is now increasingly accepted, mainly because it's just like shoot. Let's just throw some duct tape on that because that's harder than. I prefer WD forty. Than duct tape. Yeah. Different different uses. I I use it too. Um, okay both but okay so i think we i don't are we agreeing to disagree or are we just going to disagree and no you we'll know disagree. maybe we'll, we'll disagree until uh i'm dead which will probably be in about six months so then you're <laughs> free to say whatever you want so i'm going to probably keep using the singular plural but, but i'll I, always use it knowing that it would bother you is that does that help it, it does bother me but uh you know i'm not going to get in a fist fight over it no well fortunately you're quite a few miles away from me otherwise and i'm about a thousand I mean, years I, I'm a thousand years older than you are. So, You're you know. still a beast, though. I mean, I don't know if I tangle with you, man. I'm an animal. There's no doubt about that. No question. Plus, beards. There's been studies that one of the reasons that men grow beards, there's if you were to punch that beard, that beard absorbs uh, uh, kinetic energy, mm -hmm. and I probably couldn't knock you out. Well, so actually, you wear me uh, down. No, that's uh, false research because uh, the reason at least I grow a beard is because uh, the pheromones pheromones that nestle in my beard so when i go like this uh, it just wafts around and uh, makes it pat makes, just goes wild oh yeah for sure we don't want to talk about our sex life now no, this age. no not no. at all no this is a grammar show okay excellent thank you okay then uh, good hit the red uh, button auf wiedersehen mein lieber freund auf wiedersehen tschüss tschüss now hit the red button yeah uh,